Hello students, this is Dr. Amar Preet Kaur, a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department. In today's lecture, we are going to learn that how two scientists, Alfred Harshay and Martha Chase, they gave a concrete proof that DNA is the only genetic material. Clear? They performed this historical experiment in year 1952. There were two organi organisms that were involved in this experiment. One was T2 bacteriophage and another was the bacterium E. coli. Firstly, I will give a brief description about T2 bacteriophage. T2 bacteriophage, uh, usually it infects the bacteria and uh, it multiplies inside the bacteria. Clear? In this lecture, I will not give a full-fledged um, structure of bacteriophage because it is precisely related with DNA as a genetic material. So, I am going to tell you only the main points. Bacteriophage, it is made up of two things, DNA and uh, protein coat. And the aim of our experiment is either DNA or proteins, they are the genetic material. So, with this point, they performed an experiment. Clear? Now, let's discuss about the experiment. Both DNA as well as proteins, they were labeled with radioactive tra tracers to find either DNA or proteins. They are genetic material. Number one point, DNA contains phosphorus but not sulfur. Okay, so the DNA, it was uh, um, labeled with P32 radioactive tracer and uh, it was cultured in PO4 but uh, the phosphorus which we used in it was radioactive. Clear? Similarly, the proteins of the phage, they contain sulfur but no phosphorus. Important point. So, the radioactive that we used in proteins was radioactive sulfur as 35 that infected E. coli and it was cultured in a media which contains um, SO4 but here again the sulfur was radioactive. This experiment it can be divided into three steps. Number one, infection. Number two, blending. And number three, centrifugation. Firstly, infection. Both types of labeled phage, they were allowed to infect normally cultured bacteria in separate experiments. Did you got the point? Two separate uh, experiments were performed and both types of labeled phage one was labeled with uh, radioactive uh, sulfur and another that was um, labeled with radioactive phosphorus the bacteriophage that contained radioactive sulfur it was allowed to infect E. coli contained in a media that contain uh, SO4 but radioactive. Clear? And in another set where the protein coat was radioactive, this bacteriophage, it was allowed to infect the bacteria E. coli but it contained the media SO4 radioactive. Clear? The second step was blending. These bacterial cells, they were agitated or you can say they were broken uh, so that the contact between the virus or bacteriophage and bacteria was vanished. 
The next step is centrifugation. The virus back particles are they were separated from the bacteria by spinning them in centrifuge. Clear? Now net result. The bacteriophage whose cell wall or you can say the protein coat they were labeled with radioactive material. Their progenies were the bacteria with no radioactive material. Clear? With this, they concluded that proteins, they are not responsible for the transfer of a character. On the contrary, the, in another set of experiment where uh, the DNA was labeled with radioactive um, phosphors, what they found? They found the progenies of bacteria they had radioactive active material inside the inside them hence it proved that dna is sure shot responsible for transfer of any character clear so dna is the hereditary material with this we have completed experiments that are related to dna as a genetic material thank you for listening if you have any comment or any query you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com you can post over there thank you